This is post exit planning the pullback. So I'm going to read a passage from my book titled Toxic Encounters, Why People Pursue Rebound Relationships and, um, and give you a quick analysis. So when a rebounder does not respond to an issue that a rebound has with the rebound relationship and the rebound voices and opinion, this alerts the, the rebounder to continue the pattern of behavior that allows the rebounder to receive gain and the rebound to suffer loss. The more the rebounder pulls back, the more emotionally unstable the rebound becomes. The rebound becomes emotionally confused, exhibiting physical behavior that further confirms the rebounder's assumption and decision to continue moving forward with the plan to pull back. Instead of responding with concern, the rebounder responds with indifference. You know, indifference is a very interesting word because I never thought about it. There was a guy, and I have an audio on this, the one who, who got away, that he was very interested in me. And this was some years ago, though. Uh, he was very interested in me, but, I, but there was nothing wrong with him that I couldn't have been interested in him. I liked him. He was all right. But I, I responded to him with indifference because I wasn't used to someone liking me. And so I didn't necessarily know how to respond uh, with, you know, within the context of actually being a person um, who, who was wanted, right? I had already had some, uh, you know, family issues. I had friendship issues. I was always sort of like the one kind of ostracized or whatever. And so here this guy comes along and he actually likes me. He actually wants to be with me. Even to this day, he can see me across the street or across a room or something like that. And he would know it's me and he would come up to me. And he was a good looking guy there were, and he had his stuff together. He was a man. He was absolutely a man. He, he took on a role as a man. He had a provider mentality, a head of household type mentality, everything. I just couldn't see it. I didn't hurt him in terms of, you know, getting with him and then doing him wrong and then leaving him. I didn't do that. I just didn't give the relationship or any possibility of a relationship any chance. Maybe I knew something on the inside of me that I just knew I wasn't going to see it all the way through. I was young. I was maybe like before 25. So, uh, and I had moved to San Diego somewhere like uh, 21, 22. So, I met him, uh, he was out of high school, but I met him while I was in high school, my last two years. And just something about it, uh, I just, I don't know, I just couldn't, I, even to this day, at 46 years old, I still, I just, it's like indifference. I don't understand it myself. But I do understand enough to understand that it's because I couldn't see the the good in him and I couldn't see him liking me because I had always chosen people who didn't like me. And that has a lot to do with childhood, et cetera. Um, when it comes to the pullback, uh, my situation, my previous experience might have a lot to do with another person's previous experience. So for, for instance, your rebounder is still trying to get back with his ex who won't take him back. But here it is, you're trying to show your rebounder that you like him and that you want to be with him. But he can't see that. He can't see that you like him. He he responds to you with indifference. He responds to you with pullbacks. Sometimes he'll pull at you just to pull back. And when he's pulling at you to pull back, it's usually because the ex has pushed him away again. She pulled at him to push him away so now he's pulling at you to push you away. And he's sort of like the link between you and his ex. And if he would just make a decision, then there could be some kind of hope for you in that relationship with him, but it's not gonna happen. So the only person who needs to make a, make a decision in the situation is you, which is the full pullback. That means that you don't engage him anymore because he can't make up his mind or he's refusing to make up his mind. Confusion to me is not a, a 
good justification for keeping you on the hook, emotional hook. You either, you can't be that confused about who it is you want to be with because if you're still going back and forth with some previous partner, that tells me you want to be with that person. So be with that person. Don't get with somebody else. Just stay single until that person decides to come back around if you believe that there is still a relationship there. A lot of times, I don't think they really believe that. I think they're just trying to go back and forth with that person out of ego. It could be to show them what they are still all about and that you're missing out and it could also be to you know self-esteem because she keeps calling me and we keep having sex and she act like you know she don't want me or something like that but i know she wants me right that type of thing well if you're the person that he that he called himself trying to date you're mixed up in their mess and he's never going to see the beauty in you that is there that is there for for um you know for the taking for his opportunity he's never going to do that he's only going to see you as a body as uh um some sort of quick companion to go to the movies with just just a emotional uh time filler or gap filler and definitely he's going to use you for sex more than anything and the more you keep having sex with somebody the more um those feelings are compounded and you get even more confused so he's pulling at you he's pulling at her to try to get back but she's pulling at him to push him back which means that he's pushed he's pulling at you to push you back because he sees um whatever relationship he has with you with some indifference meaning that he can take you or lose uh, um he can take you or leave you because you're not really the priority. And when you are not a priority in a romantic relationship, that means it is time to exit. Don't, don't try to reason that it must be something else or he must be some, or it must be this. It is not this. When someone really wants to be with you, they're going to move heaven and earth to be with you. They're not going to be indifferent. Hopefully you were able to gain some insight from that quick video. So like the video, subscribe to the channel, visit my website for more content. Uh, the book Toxic Encounters, Why People Pursue Rebound Relationships will be available spring 2021. It's a title change from Bait Hook and Switch Confessions of a Rebound Girl. Thank you for visiting the channel.